Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, May 13th, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happened today in history. Thanks, Payton. Today in history, May 13, 1950, Steve Wonder is born. Wonder is kept alive in an incubator, but is rendered blind when he is exposed to too much oxygen. The condition doesn't hold him back. He shows his aptitude for music early on when he first touches the keys on a neighbor's broken down piano. By the time he is 11 years old, he was recording his first two albums at Motown, The Jazz Soul of Little Steve and Tribute to Uncle Ray. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. Dog sled racing is a winter sport most popular in the Arctic regions of the United States, Canada, Russia, Greenland, and some European countries. This is basically a race between teams of sled dogs that pull a sled through a marked course with a driver or musher standing on the runners. These highly trained sled dogs are used to pull a sled, which is a wheelless vehicle on runners over snow and ice by means of harnesses or lines. It is actually a common mode of transportation in icy areas where regular transportation is difficult. The races include sprint races, mid-distance, and long-distance. Teams usually consist of either four, six, and eight dogs, plus the musher. Sled dog races started as demonstration sports at 1932 Winter Olympics in New York and again in the 1994 Winter Olympics. The fastest teams of man and his best friends win. Now let's go to Onalicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is turkey and cheese sandwich, hummus cup, baby carrots, diced pears, mustard, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Aunt Alicia. Scholars, this month will show that we are FSA ready. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. Patriots, get ready because the book fair is almost here. The book fair begins this Monday, May 17th. Check out this flyer for more information. And finally, if you missed Storytime with Pat the Patriot yesterday, don't worry, you can view it anytime on our RPTV YouTube channel. This month's story is called The Big Test, read by our very own Miss Anaya. Be sure to check it out. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 91 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Looks like more rain to come, so keep your umbrellas handy. Now let's go to someone for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. What do you call it when a dinosaur gets in a car crash? A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now let's go to Sonia with today's birthdays. Thanks, Sonia. That was super funny. Today's brother girl is... Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Antori, Ms. Balandrano, Ms. Manon, Ms. Kane, Ms. Yearwood, and Ms. Santi Stabon. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, what two words added together form a place where you find the most letters? The correct answer to the riddle was post office. Now for today's riddle, two coins add up to 30 cents. One isn't a nickel. What are they? Again, two coins add up to 30 cents. One isn't a nickel. What are they? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget to remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.